gave us a direction on salt when we looked at Ezekiel 16 cutting the spiritual navel separating you from from patterns of your evil patterns evil family patterns so that you will not carry the load your father carried nor carry the load your, your mother carried and uh, we looked at that scripture it said as for your nativity on the day you were born your navel cord was not cut nor were you washed in water to cleanse you you were not rubbed with salt nor wrapped in swaddling clothes this is the almighty God speaking through prophet Ezekiel to the people of Israel he said this is the reason for the inconsistencies in your life he said you were not salted nobody rubbed you with salt so there is a ministry that salt has to carry out in your life for your complete deliverance carry the salt and hold it in your hands as I lead you into some prophetic prayers there is a purpose of the covenant of salt while you get the salt if you look at Leviticus chapter 2 verse 13 Leviticus chapter 2 verse 13 it says and every oblation of thy meat offering shall thou season with salt neither shall thou suffer the salt of the covenant take note of the word the salt of the covenant of your God to be lacking from your grain offerings with all your offering you shall offer salt God was giving the people of Israel an instruction every time you bring an offering you must bring it with salt you must offer salt he said you must not he said and every oblation of the meat offering you must season it with salt because why our God is a taste conscious God the same way he smelled the sweet savour of the offering of Noah and said in his heart he will not again destroy all of mankind the same way he smells it he also tastes it hallelujah so when you bring an offering to God the offering has a smell he, he receives the smell of the offering and he also tastes it if he was not conscious about taste the Lord will not tell them with all thy offerings thou shall offer salt salt is for seasoning am I talking to somebody here he said neither shall thou suffer the salt of the covenant of thy God to be lacking from thy meat offering salt of the covenant look at numbers chapter 13 numbers 18 19 numbers 18 19 it says all of the heave offerings of the holy things which the children of Israel offer unto the Lord have I given thee and thy sons and thy daughters with thee by a statute forever it is a covenant of salt forever before the Lord unto thee and to thy seed with thee it is a covenant of salt forever and when the Bible says forever till Jesus comes Israel will keep presenting salt before the almighty God it is forever the wicked people cut the mystery of salt from here which is you salt too white garment church people you salt too am I talking to somebody here they saw it from here so it is a covenant salt of the covenant and the covenant of salt so when you are praying you provoke the covenant the power in the covenant of salt and the power in the salt of the covenant in your favor am i talking to somebody here it is a covenant i believe you know that the covenant is a legal agreement between two or more persons every biblical covenant has five segments number one it involves two or more parties number two it is based on full knowledge of both parties Number three, it must be written down or fully comprehended. Number four, it needs to be entered into consciously, not by force. It is a choice. Number five, it is established for a purpose. These are the five biblical basis segments for covenant. So the number one significance of the covenant of salt is that it is for preservation of the promises of God. The same way you put salt in fish, so that it will not decay. You put salt in meat to preserve it. Salt is for preservation. Anywhere you sprinkle salt, you preserve that territory from, from decadence. 
You preserve that territory from demonic intrusion. You deserve, you, you preserve your finances from the wasters and the destroyers. Am I talking to somebody here? On Sunday when we are praying for, for when we are dealing with money, you have to come with salt. Salt does something in your hands. When you stay for a long time, money doesn't come to your hands. You salt your hands. Salt your hands, money will come. Am I talking to somebody here? You carry your hands, salt your hands. Money will come to you. Salt is powerful. Glory to God. It is for preservation. It means you have the God-given nature to preserve your community like Abraham did on behalf of Lot. Naturally, salt is a preservative agent. So also, it is spiritually when activated by covenant. We all know that Jesus said in Matthew 5.13 that we are the salt of the earth. He said, but if the salt have lost his savour, where we shall it be salted? It is therefore good for nothing but to be cast out and to be thrown under foot of men. When your life is salted, you have value before people. Am I talking to somebody here? Nobody will spit you out. Salt makes anything have taste. Your life will have taste. People will accept you. People will not reject you. So by the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant, I declare your life acceptable. I declare your business acceptable. If you are shouting amen, let your amen sound like thunder. I declare your family acceptable. In the same territory where you were rejected, after tonight, as your life is salted, as you, the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant of our God is activated over your life, you will be accepted. I say you will be accepted. Where they threw a boundary and said you will not be accepted, I decree in the name of Jesus. By the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant of our God, you will be accepted. Your quotation will be accepted. Your business proposal will be accepted. Your certificate will be accepted. You will not be rejected. If you believe it, shout three powerful amen. Number one. Number two. Number three, the loudest. Anybody throwing you under their feet by the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant of our God, may your life be lifted above the head of your enemy. He said, but to be cast out and to be thrown under foot of men, when salt loses its savour, it becomes useless. Salt makes you useful. Am I talking to somebody here? The people you were looking up to before will begin to look up to you. If you believe it, say aloud, amen. amen. Number two, salt is for seasoning. It's for seasoning. All over the world, salt is used for seasoning. It gives spice to anything. It gives life to anything, anything that is tasteless. When your marriage is going sour, you need to salt yourself. God's servant was talking about a certain woman that he told that needs favor before her husband. And the woman began to make mouth, began to behave like a superman. I mean, she is my husband. I don't need favor before my husband. And after some time, they were divorced. As a woman, you need favor before your husband. When you sort your life, he can't deny you anything. Am I talking to somebody here? Even you men, when she is doing younger for you, when you sort your life, she will not deny you or she will not say no to you. Glory to God. The same effect it has on food is the same effect it has on your destiny. It spices up your life. It gives you seasoning. Colossians chapter 4 verse 6, Paul said, Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. When your life is without salt, you talk anyhow. You talk anyhow. You become like a radio station. You talk without control. And anytime you are not talking, your mouth will be paining you. You want to talk. But when your life is salted, your words will be with grace. 
I declare in the name of Jesus, may your words receive grace. May your words receive grace. That one word you need to speak to change the situation in your business. By the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant of our God. Receive the capacity to say that word. And as you say it, it will be accepted. Come on, shout a big amen somebody. Number three, salt is for friendship. Salt is for friendship. Salt is brought by both families of different tribes in Israel to cook food for eating. And after that, a covenant of friendship is instituted such that those two tribes will never fight against each other. Their children will never fight against each other. They enter into covenant of friendship. They marry each other. They do things together. It's a covenant of friendship. Am I talking to somebody here? Every dying relationship in your life, relationships that are going down the drain, you have been dating a man for seven, eight years. He has never asked the golden question. But this covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant of our God, may you receive that proposal. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every friendship that matters to your destiny, that Satan is fighting against, as you spice up your life with the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant of our God, I repair those relationships. If you shout amen like thunder, God is giving you the victory. Number four, salt is for dominion. Somebody say dominion. dominion. Somebody say dominion. dominion. David had dominion over Israel and his throne was established forever by a covenant of salt. The reason why David fought 66 battles, never lost anyone, was because of the covenant of salt at work in his life. Second Chronicles chapter 13 verse 5. It's, the Bible says, Ought ye not to know that the Lord God of Israel have given, have, the, the Lord God of Israel gave the kingdom of Israel to David forever, even to him and to his sons by a covenant of salt? This was a question somebody was asking. Are you not aware that God had given the kingdom of Israel to David forever, even to him and his sons by a covenant of salt? Somebody is receiving dominion today. The territory they took from you, God is giving you back that territory. The position they took from you, God is giving you back that position. Every, every position that is your right by redemption, every territory, every seat that is your right by redemption, every position that is yours by the covenant of salt, I declare you are taking it back. Say, I take it back seven times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. The loudest. David never lost any battle because of the covenant of salt. The kingdom of Israel was given to David, to him and his sons by a covenant of salt. The last territory you lost will be the last one you will ever lose. Come on, clap your hands and shout amen. He never lost any battle. I prophesy you will not lose any battle. By the covenant of salt, be empowered to win every battle. By the covenant of salt, be empowered to win that battle in your father's house. That battle in your mother's house. That battle in your business. That battle in your career. That battle in your workplace. That financial battle, that marital battle, that battle of your health, by the covenant of salt, be empowered. I say, be empowered. I say, be empowered. In the name of Jesus. Number five, salt is for healing. Somebody say healing. Somebody say healing. The man of Jericho came to Josh, to Elisha after he received a double portion of the anointing of Elijah upon him and they complained in 2nd Kings chapter 2 verse 19 to verse 22 they told him that the situation of this city is pleasant as my Lord see it but the water is not and the ground barren this situation came as a result of the curse of Joshua when Joshua cursed Jericho 
and the walls of Jericho fell, Joshua said, nobody will build this city. Anybody who begin to build this city will begin with his firstborn and end it with his lastborn. A certain man tried it and exactly what Joshua said happened to that man. He didn't go and find out the history behind that city. That's why it's not good to just pack your bags and travel anywhere. You have to investigate the history behind the territory where you live. You might be living in a cursed territory. A nation can be under a curse. A city can be under a curse. A community can be under a curse. You don't just carry your life and go and plant somewhere. So Jer Jericho was under a curse because of, the, of Joshua. And nobody could break that curse. You know, Joshua also received a higher anointing from Moses. In Deuteronomy 34 verse 9, the Bible says that Joshua was full of the spirit of wisdom because Moses laid hands on him. So everything that Moses carried, he released on Joshua. Moses died empty. Joshua was full because Moses emptied himself into Joshua. So when he placed that course, he took a higher ranking person that had the same capacity of anointing that Joshua had to break that course. Nobody could break it. So when Elisha received a double portion of, of the anointing of Elijah, the men, elders of the city perceived that there was something that could settle their issue. And they ran to the prophet and said to him, Our city, the situation of our city is not pleasant. And the next thing he said, he said Bring me a new cruise in verse 20. And he put salt thereon, therein. And they bring it to him. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters. And cast the salt in there. And said, Thor says the Lord, I have healed these waters. There shall not be from thence any more deaths. Or barren land. So the waters were healed unto this day. According to the saying of Elisha which he speak. The covenant of salt is for healing. The covenant of salt is for deliverance from death. It's for deliverance from barrenness. Every death situation in your life, I command it to expire by the covenant of salt. Every cause of barrenness, every cause of unproductivity in the work of your hands. Give me your hands. I command the cause to break by fire. I command the cause to break by fire. By the covenant of salt, the cause is broken. I said the cause is broken. I said the cause is broken. I said the cause is broken. As your hands are stretched towards this altar, every cause on your hands, every cause on the, the, the work of your hands, every cause on your business, every cause you know nothing about, anything your hand touches will spoil. Everything was okay until you came. The moment you began to put your hand into the thing, everything began to spoil. I command that cause to cut fire. I set that hand on fire. I set your hands on fire. Clap your hands seven times. I command every cause on your hands to cut fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive healing in your hands. Healing in your business. Healing in your marriage. Healing in your womb. In the name of Jesus. He says, and the waters were healed. The waters were healed. Waters there talks about productivity. Waters there talks about abundance. If you look at Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1. God commanded the waters to bring forth. When God commanded the waters to bring forth, the Bible says the waters brought forth abundantly. The waters brought forth abundantly. Verse 20, and God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of the heaven. There are blessings that are, that are locked up in the waters. But when the waters are unproductive, when the waters are barren, it won't bring forth. When the waters are unfruitful, it won't bring forth. When there is death in the waters, it won't bring forth. I command every death in the waters of Zimbabwe, 
affecting your productivity to be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Let the waters bring forth abundantly for you. Let the waters bring forth abundantly for your family. Let the waters bring forth abundantly for your business. Come on, clap your hands and shout and receive it. The waters brought forth abundantly. The waters were healed unto this day. May the water of your marriage be healed. May the water of your business be healed. May the water of that your relationship be healed. May, may, may the water of your career be healed. May the water of your destiny be healed. I speak healing over the water of your life. In the name of Jesus. Number six, it is for stability. Somebody say stability. Abimelech established dominion after winning the battle by sowing salt. He planted salt. There are situations where you need to open the ground and plant salt in a territory where there has been intense battle. In Judges chapter 9 verse 44. I mean 44 and 45. Judges chapter 9 verse 44 and 45. And Abimelech and the company that was with him rushed forward and stood in the entering of the gate of the city and the two other companies ran upon all the people that were in the fields and slew them verse 45 and abimelech fought against the city all that day and he took the city and slew the people that was daring and beat down the city and he sowed it with salt he planted salt when he planted salt in that city, there was no record of war anymore. That salt you are holding in your hands, it can end every long war. The war your father fought, he couldn't win. The war your mother fought, she couldn't win. That salt in your hands can put an end to that war. I have buried salt personally, me personally. I told you the other day, any message I preach here, I preach from my experience. Any message I'm preaching to you, I'm preaching from, I, I get my message and my revelation from my personal battles. I came from a, a very, very, a, 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 a very, very tough background. Am I talking to somebody here? I had to fight that lineage and ended the lineage and began a new one. Am I talking to somebody here? And you can do the same. What your father could not do, you will do a thousand times more. If you are the one I'm talking to, you will say, I'm the one he's talking about. What your mother could not do, you will do a thousand times more. Come on, somebody clap your hands and shout out amen better. He sold it with salt and ended the war. Am I talking to somebody here? Have there been battles you are fighting in your father's house? And the battles is not coming to an end. Every day you are fighting. Go and plant salt there. This salt, as the fire of God comes upon that salt, go and bury it there. Like Abimelech did, he beat down the city and sowed it with salt. And it ended the war. Salt can end war. Am I talking to somebody here? Every battle you have been fighting, battles in your business, battles in your finances, battles in your health, battles in your father's house, battles in your mother's house, strange battles you know nothing about. I command them to expire now. By the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant, I end your battles. I say, I end your battles. I say, I end your battles. 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 Salt was so important that in the tabernacle there was salt there. Since every oblation and every sacrifice that the people of Israel were bringing must be salted. The priests, they kept salt. If you are a spiritual man, salt should be in your altar. Salt should, should be in your bathroom. Anytime you don't feel the way you are, the way you are feeling funny about your life, just put some salt in the water. Sanctify the water. Activate the power in the covenant. And bath with the water. And let every, every attack expire. Am I talking to somebody here? Anywhere you spray salt, you don't see snakes. You don't see earthworm. You don't see any... They, 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 go, they, they repel those things. 
The same effect they have in the physical, they also have in the spiritual. In my bathroom, there is salt there. Salt should not only be in the kitchen, it should be in the bathroom too. When you wake up in the morning, you don't understand the way you are feeling. Put salt there. Sanctify the water. Shower with it. Am I talking to somebody here? And when you come out, anybody who will see you will favor you. If they plan to do you evil, they will do you good. If they plan to say no to you, they will say yes to you. If they plan to give you half of the money, they will give you all of the money. Am I talking to somebody here? Lift up your hand. Say, my father, my father. I activate the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant of our God over my life, over my business, over my finances, over my career, over my destiny, over Zimbabwe, the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant of our God. I activate the power in the covenant in this salt in my hands in the name of Jesus everything that is of God everything that is good that is in the covenant of salt I activate inside this salt I'm carrying in my hands I activate the power of the covenant by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus by this covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant I end every long battles in my life in my business in my finances I repel every evil spirit every demon spirit every causes evil patterns evil covenants evil spirits assigned against my life by the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant your time is up I repel you out of my home, out of my business, out of my finances in the name of Jesus my days of rejection they are over, nobody put salt inside the mouth and spit it out the same way salt has general acceptance global acceptance everywhere I will be accepted in Zimbabwe I will be accepted, in Nigeria I will be accepted in America in London, in China, in Australia, I will be accepted. In Europe, I will be accepted. All over the world, the same acceptance that salt has, both between the good and the bad, between the black and the white. Nobody rejects salt. So also, my life will not be rejected. I will be accepted. I will be accepted. I will be accepted. In the name of Jesus, the seasoning power that is in the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant of our God, I activate over my life, over my business, over my finances, over my career, over my family. In the name of Jesus, the stability and the dominion that the covenant of salt carries in God, I activate over my life in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus by the covenant of salt I have dominion 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 in the name of Jesus by the covenant of salt my life is preserved the life of my family members are preserved everywhere I go I am preserved my business is preserved my investments is preserved my finances are preserved everything that belongs to me that has my name written on it they are preserved by the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant of our God in the name of Jesus the covenant is forever Therefore, my life is preserved forever, forever. Every sickness in my body, every sickness in my family, by the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant 
of our God. I command the sickness to expire, 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 expire. The same way the waters of Jericho were healed by the salt of the covenant of our God. I receive my healing. I receive my healing. I receive my healing. I receive my healing. Go ahead and begin to pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray. Speak into that salt in your hands. I put an end to death and barrenness. No more death. No more barrenness. God gave the kingdom of Israel to David and to his sons forever by a covenant of salt. I take over this territory. I take over the east, the west, the north, and the south by the covenant of salt. I exercise my dominion and authority over the kingdoms of this world. I refuse to be subjugated. I ascend and vahasa la gaman de sos elidas kila bo se la bandes we sanctify the salt we activate the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant of our God over the salt that is in the hands of your people oh God we sanctify the salt we turn it from an ordinary salt to the salt of the covenant we put some life into the salt let the salt be empowered. Let the salt be empowered. The salt receives power to do damage to the kingdom of darkness. The salt becomes a weapon of war. It becomes a tool for destruction. The salt is activated by the spirit of the living God. In the name of Jesus. Take the biggest note you have in your pocket. Let's pray. Covenants are entered by sacrifice. This thing you're holding in your hands, there is a covenant to it. And to activate that covenant, something needs to leave your hands. Am I talking to somebody here? The day I caught this revelation, I've used it to win so many battles. It has worked for me. Peter says, silver and gold I don't have. But such as I have, I give unto you. That which God has given to me, I'm showing you from scriptures so that you can see. Am I talking to somebody here? When you come back with your testimonies, you will understand what you are doing tonight. It might not make sense now, but just go and do it. Do it like somebody without brains. Am I talking to somebody here? It repels witches. There was a time witches, we, uh, bush baby. You know bush baby? Have you heard of bush baby before? Have you heard of bush baby? That cries like a child at night. That animal that cries like a baby. It's called bush baby. Witches manifest with those things around my area. They come and start crying. And when they finish crying at night, they defecate on top of my car. My vehicle. Imagine me a whole bishop. They are not afraid. They come and defecate on top of my car. I wake up in the morning. I will start cleaning the poo of those witches. They did it the first day. I thought it was a mistake. I just overlooked it. The second day they did it. Thought I said, no, this enough is enough. I went to carry pepper. You know pepper? Chili. <laughs> I mix it with salt. When you cook for the enemy, they will die. <laughs> <laughs> you need to learn how to cook for the enemy. Cook for them. When I put chili inside the pool, 
I said, as I put chili inside this pool, the botox where this pool came from, caught fire. <laughs> fire. And as I put the, put the chili, I could imagine the witch doing like this. <laughs> and I activated covenant of salt. Sprinkle salt everywhere there. That was the end. It's only the witch that knew what happened to it that made it not to return. But may I know what I did? Life is spiritual. It's not only yourself you cook for. Cook for your enemy. Cook. Put some pepper. You pepper them. <laughs> when you pepper them, they will leave you. They will say this word is wicked. <laughs> you know the way you cut the tail of a of a of a an ascension dog and you cook it for the dog to eat for the dog to become wicked that thing it has a mystery when you cook the poo of the of the, the witches you cook their poo they won't come near that area again this salt in your hand will chase every witch around your community. I came to, to, to recruit holy rebels. You will go and rebel against the power of darkness. You tell them enough is what? It's enough. You have tolerated enough. Yeah, tolerated enough. Bishop said, don't complain about what you are not praying for, praying about. You have tolerated you see you cook go and cook for them carry this salt put some pepper go and cook for your enemy they will leave you alone carry your seed let's pray carry some seed here and say my father with this my sacrifice i activate the power in the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant of our god this is my sacrifice. You said every time the people of Israel brought burnt offerings, it must be salted. So when the salt meets the sacrifice, something happens. So with your salt and your sacrifice, I proclaim your victory today. Over every powers of the enemy. Anywhere your money is tied, I lose it now. I lose it now in Jesus name come and drop the sacrifice then you will now anoint yourself with that salt and I will lead you into prayer drop it and then go and stay in your seat let's pray you will sprinkle the salt on your head and speak you salt your hand anywhere you need power to touch salt it now you will take test the salt I will lead you into prayer you will anoint your head with the salt just sprinkle a little bit then take some you do like this with your hand We'll do some prophetic prayers and actions and you will see deliverance here now anywhere they tied your money we will lose the money they say money will not come to your hand money will come after this service in the name of Jesus Christ family quarrel comes to an end salt binds two tribes of Israel together for friendship forever every family quarrel family feud will come to an end today in the name of jesus pray in the holy ghost as you are standing while we wait for this people pray in the holy ghost pray 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 Ziba ba 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 shaka pa. Zente kele brete se kele brete des. Manta kala badis. Anka da ba da badis. Envele dons of rades. Lift up the salt above your head, spirit of the living God. I activate your spirits over this salt, like you brooded over the waters in Genesis. Brood upon this salt. Move over them, hover over this salt, and release your life into it. 
let your fire rest upon the salt let it become a vehicle for deliverance everything that you have not planted in the life of your people as the salt touches their tongue let them begin to vomit it let them begin to vomit it as the salt touches their head every evil load they are carrying evil load from their father's house evil load from their mother's house evil patterns finding expression in and through their life let those patterns be suspended every evil curses ancestral curses transferred through their spiritual navel that is operational in their life let it be uprooted in the name of jesus as they sought their hands we activate power to prosper power to prosper power to prosper we end the cycle of poverty we end cycles of financial failure come on say amen let me hear you we end cycles of financial failure we end cycles of financial failure we end evil patterns evil family patterns we kill deep witchcraft manipulations by the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant we kill every deep witchcraft manipulations over your life in the name of jesus every follow follow demon from evil family altars altars and asian gates asian portals that has kept communities in bondage we command those spirit to be roasted by fire as the covenant of salt is activated over your life the covenant that kept you in their bondage is broken forever is broken forever is broken forever abimelech had dominion over the city when he planted salt as you go home and plant that salt anywhere you plant it receive dominion over that territory the almighty God gave David the kingdom of Israel to David and to his sons forever by a covenant of salt. May you receive dominion over your territory. Every devil resisting the power of God in your life, in your household, in your community, they receive the fire of God in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus name. Now take, a, take the salt, take a portion of the salt, put in your tongue. Let's pray the first prayer. Your tongue will be salted. Anything you say, they will do it. Any power resisting you, they will obey you. Your words will carry weight in the spirit. The Bible says consigning Samuel that none of his word falls to the ground. Everything the young men said came to pass. Your words will not be careless. So you have to be careful the things you say. Even the ones you speak over your life. Don't say, hey, I'm finished. Then the devil will say, you are indeed finished. Then the covenant of salt now, now works against you. <laughs> you have to be careful. <laughs> oh, I'm broke. No money in this pocket. Satan will say, yes, indeed, no money at all. You be careful. You say what you want to see. You have to be intentional. Have you take it now? Put it in your tongue. Say in the name of Jesus. By the covenant of salt, I empower my tongue with life. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of death over my tongue. Every effect of negativity spoken by my tongue over my life by the covenant of salt I neutralize it I neutralize it I neutralize it in the name of Jesus every spirit from hell I activated over my life by my negative speakings I deactivate them in the name of Jesus my tongue receive power my tongue receive grace my words are now seasoned with salt in the name of jesus when i say a man is blessed he is blessed 
When I release a curse, the thing is curse. My mouth receive power and the ability to chart my life forward, forward, upward in the name of Jesus. Every spirit from hell that is working against my life because of what I said, the words I have spoken over my life from the day I was born till now, I reverse them. I send them back to hell. In the name of Jesus. Now anoint your head with the salt. Take some salt, anoint your head. Say, Father, as I anoint my head with salt, every load I inherited from my father, from my mother, from my village, from my ancestors, from my community, where I was born, through my spiritual navel that has sustained evil family patterns in my life by the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant of our God I deliver myself I set myself free go ahead and pray that prayer we break every evil patterns we destroy every evil patterns by the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant of our God we destroy evil patterns. We destroy them. We destroy them. We destroy them. We destroy them. Every patterns from your father's house, patterns from your mother's house, by the covenant of salt, they are broken. They are broken. They are broken. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. I separate you from every transferred evil patterns through your spiritual never. I separate you in the name of Jesus. I separate you in the name of Jesus. Now, fetch some salt in your hands. Drop the bag. If you are having a bag of salt, drop it on the ground. You are going to rub your hands with that salt as you pray. And unlock your money. You break every curse in your hands that is repelling money away from you. Every repellent, anything that repels money away from you, you make sure you you squeeze that sword with your two hands as you pray. This is powerful. As you pray this prayer, money is coming to your life. This issue of you staying for a whole week nobody will send money to you nobody will call you nobody will flash you even the promotional test message echo net send they don't remember your number that thing has to die money is coming to your life say money is coming to my life by the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant I activate the power to compel money into my hands say money likes me say money wants me say everywhere I go money goes say money stays around me say money is my servant say money will serve me as I serve in the purposes of God Say money will, will accomplish assignments in my favor. Say money stays in my hands. My hands will not repel money. Money stays in my hands. Money stays in my life. My hands keeps money. My hands does not kill money. In the name of Jesus. Rub your hands and pray those prayers. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Pray in the Holy Ghost. It's an error to stay for a whole day. Your hand will not touch money. Masters don't look for their servants. Servants look for their masters. Money will look for you. The days when you look for money is over. Money begins to look for you. 
Money will pursue you. Money will serve you. Money will accomplish kingdom assignments in your favor. Money will stay in your life. You will not go money dry. I bind every spirit of dryness. Every spirit of financial dryness. I bind every spirit. Bring her to the altar. Every spirit of financial dryness. The Holy Ghost is here. There are 300 angels working here. Be in the spirit. And close your eyes. Stop looking around. Be in the spirit. I bind every spirit of dryness. That takes money away from you. You spirit of financial failure. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit from hell that takes money away from you. I bind that spirit. I bind that spirit. Your hands are empowered. Money comes to your life. Money stays in your life. Money serves you. Money follow you everywhere you go. The days when you are broke are over. I break that spirit of bro being broke. In the name of Jesus. Rub your hands with that salt. Keep rubbing it as you pray. As my hands are salted. I do well in business. I do well in my finances. I do well in my career. I prosper. I do well. As my hands are salted. My business prospers in my hands. Nothing dies in my hands. My hands will not destroy anything. My hands will manage and keep anything it touches. Anything my hand touches grows. My hands will not repel money. People give me money. Money comes to me. Moito ko bete bete mende sasala gambash. Afehe soko bela di mene sasalaya. Anka da banta saka bara tela tisa la dosha. Em bobo bombele den siga bande kala banda sala barash. Sheke de bere tesa liga barake na sosash. Anfaha sala banash. Bonte kele bente sakalash. I destroy the power of witchcraft. Operations and manipulations around your destiny. By the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant of our God, I destroy the power of witchcraft. I cut off the head of that serpent, swallowing your finances, swallowing your business. In the name of Jesus, I proclaim liberty over your life. Money is coming to you. 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 I end that financial cycle of failure. In the mighty name of Jesus. At your young age, you will become a millionaire. At your young age, you will become a millionaire. By the covenant of salt, receive the millionaire's anointing. In the name of Jesus. Your hands are salted to do well. Your hands are salted to prosper. Holy Spirit of the living God, from the back to the front, from the left to the right, I release power to prosper on your people. In the name of Jesus, I activate over 72 people under the sound of my voice. The power to prosper is coming upon you now by the Holy Ghost. You will feel fire in your hands. Where are them, Holy Ghost? Bring them to me. Receive fire to prosper. Receive fire to prosper. Receive, bring them to the altar. Receive fire to prosper. Power to prosper. Power to prosper. Commander Sakalabalash is coming upon five people at the back. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive, bring them to the altar. Ikada pala tesekele bele tosakabaratila. I bind the spirit of poverty. I bind the spirit of financial dryness. I bind the spirit of financial failure. Every gate, every gate where they lock up your money. Let the gate open up. 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 
Let the gates open up. Bring them to the altar. Lift up your head, all oh, you gates. You ancient gates. Holding the money of the people of God. I bind you. I command you. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Every gate of finances that belong to the people of God. Under the sound of my voice. I command you. Open up. Open up. Every cage, every net where they lock up your money, I command the cage to break, break, break. Every padlock, every satanic padlock, every padlock, padlock, padlock in the witchcraft coven where your money has been tied. Come on now, I'm hearing in the spirit, padlocks are breaking, padlocks are breaking, padlocks are breaking. I command them to break, 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 break. Somebody shall break seven times. Number one, number two, number three. Number four, number five, number six, seven, the loudest. I command every padlock, padlock where your money has been locked up. I command the padlock to break, 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 break. There are still three people out there in the middle. The fire of God is coming upon you to empower you to prosper. I am receiving now. Look at them. Bring them to me. There are three people at the extreme end up there. The fire for wealth, fire for prosperity is coming upon you. Receive it. Take it. I unlock your money. Keep praying. Keep praying. Don't stop praying. I end financial failure. I end the cycle of financial failure. I end the cycle of financial failure. Receive power to prosper. Yes. Receive power to prosper. Yes. Receive power to Sons prosper. Maoko. Receive power to prosper. Sons Maoko. Receive power to prosper. Those are dying guys. I release the what? power. I release the power. I release the power. Those are dying guys. I release the power. I release the power. Yes. I release the power. Yes. Receive power to prosper. Yes. Power to do well. Yes. Power to stand out. Help, help, help. Power help, to help. be distinguished. Receive power in your father's house. Yes. You will emerge. Yes. You are imagining. You are imagining. Yes. Your head was lifted. Yes. I bind that devil of poverty. Some I some bind some that some devil some of financial dryness. Some some Come on, bring them to the altar. There are still seven people. It's coming upon you now. It's coming upon you now. Holy Ghost, locate them. Locate them now. Touch, touch, touch. Touch, touch. Shapakata pakatash. Somebody has gotten it there. Bring them to the altar. Somebody is gotten it behind us. Yes. Receive it now. Touch. Yes. Receive. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Shempe tepeles. This spirit, this evil wind that blows away money from your life. Yes. I bind that spirit. 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 Pray. I bind that spirit. I restore your money. I restore your financial fortune. Maoko Santa Kabbalah Yes. Yes, it's coming upon that woman there. Receive it now. Fire to prosper. Fire to prosper. Fire to prosper. In Katombo Kepete Kete Pela Empota. Take it in the name of Jesus. Shepekete Kete Peretes. Zompalanka Branta La Tabash. Shapanka da Branta La Kalash. Father, we release their money. We release their jobs. Yes. We release their businesses. Yes. We release their landed properties. Yes. We release their gold. Yes. I'm hearing gold, gold, gold in my spirit. Your gold is released. Amen. Your gold is released. Amen. Your gold is released. Yes. Your gold is released. Yes. That serpent that swallows your gold. Yes. I command the serpent to vomit. Vomit yes. now. Vomit the gold by fire. Vomit the gold by fire. Yes. For me, the God by fire, Thank you, Jesus. by the covenant of salt and the salt of the covenant. For me, the gold, every gold you swallowed that belonged to the people of God. Yes. Every day they go to the mine, they keep yes. digging, they keep digging, and they are finding nothing. Yes. They walk like elephant and they get back nothing in return. Yes. I bind you in the name of 
Jesus. I release your call. Yes. Shout, I receive it seven times. Number one. I receive it. Number two. I receive Number it. Three. I receive Number three. I receive Number it. Number four. I receive Number it. Number five. I receive Number it. Number six. I receive seven it. Seven the loudest. I receive it. 